Speaker, and first let me thank Chairman Bishop not only for yielding me the time, but for his patience and diligence into understanding this issue. Uh, and I also want to thank uh, Subcommittee Chairman McClintock for the work that he has put into it. The Resources Committee has conducted hearings on this issue. They have reported out m bills related to this issue in the last two Congress Congresses. And last Congress, the House voted for a bill that deals with this issue. And so I'm grateful to Chairman Bishop, Subcommittee Chair McClintock for all of that effort. Mr. Speaker, this bill is just a small sliver of what this House has passed before. This bill requires the federal government to do what the federal government should have done long ago, and that is to conduct a survey along the Red River following the instructions of the United States Supreme Court, and, and that's all this bill does. It does not dispose of any land. It does not alter the rights or claims of any state, any tribe, any individual. It just says the federal government has a responsibility to know what the federal government is supposed to be controlling. They have never, ever conducted a survey of this area. And so this bill says you will have a survey conducted using the method that the United States Supreme Court has repeatedly held is a method you ought to use. I'm a little taken aback, Mr. Speaker, on why that should be controversial. Uh, we could go on at some length about how this came to be, and it's interesting historically, and we could go into a variety of details and so forth. But again, the bottom line is the federal law currently says the federal government has a responsibility to inventory and ascertain where federal land is. And yet the Bureau of Land Management not only has never done it in close to 100 years after the Supreme Court decision, the Bureau of Land Management has said they never intend to. They will never conduct a survey of this 116-mile area. So. This bill, as I say, is very simple. It says the Bureau of Land Management shall a survey jointly agreed upon by Texas and Oklahoma, tribal and other interests, a full part of that, but there will once and for all be a survey to determine where the federal claim is and where the federal claim is not. Now, part of the reason that's so important is because the Bureau of Land Management has, especially in 2013, come out and made a variety of claims that has thrown in doubt the proper title and ownership of land that has been in families for generations, that people have paid taxes on for generations. Uh, that has put a cloud on title of private landowners, and it does not help that cloud when the Bureau of Land, and Man land Management says we will never conduct a survey to determine exactly where the claim is. So everyone, Mr. Speaker, every state, every tribe, every local government, every individual, even the federal government and the BLM itself, deserves to know where the claims rightfully are and where the claims are rightfully not. First step is information. That's all this bill does. I think it's pretty clear that, it, that we should at least take this step. And I yield back to the chairman any remaining.